Guys, this is Stuart Grant, he's a photographer extraordinaire. He's uh, behind many of the photos in Caravan World and also our sister magazine, uh, Camper Trail Australia, let's not forget that. Uh, um, Stu knows a, a, a tried and tested method for making one of the best dampers going around, Cocky's Joy. So what's the first step, mate? Well, essentially we need a warm beer and someone willing to sacrifice it. My beer's cold, it's been in the fridge, so this one... Well, that one actually is warm, mate, and I pinched that when you weren't looking one at it earlier. One we prepared earlier. Yeah, yeah, so that's one we've prepared earlier. This is a Corona, I've never tried this with, with Corona, but I'm sure that's going to add to the tang. Um, we've simply got some self-raising flour, uh, and the yeast, of course, in the beer helps give it a bit of a rising agent, hence being warm is a much better option than a cold beer. So, really, it's just a question of um, chucking a bit of it in. <clears throat> Don't put all of it in at once, because the... The general gist is to just make a, uh, a pliable dough. So we just add a bit of our warm beer in there, which frosts up nicely, as you can see, as opposed to a cold beer that wouldn't be as good at that. And this is where the fun starts, kids. <coughs> this is for all those kids that used to make mud pies. You'll just love this, but I guarantee it'll taste better at the end of the day. When you're out bush, unless you've got multi-grain bread which you know typically might last you three days in the bush you know this is a a, a good way of supplementing your uh, your stocks when you're out in the boonies so as you can see we're starting to get a little bit of a doughy consistency going on in here and probably start introducing like a little bit of fruit in there for us sure how's that it's probably good for the moment we could probably get some of those walnuts in here now as well. They go pretty light on them. Damp is pretty heavy anyway. Yep. So you really don't want to make it too stodgy. Here we go. So now we just knead that through and looking pretty good. Get our consistency as even as we can. That looks like a dynamite damper dough. What's the next step? Well, the next step, mate, is to get it cooking on the coals. Show us how. Okie dokie. Well, we need to liberate some of them from the fire. You need to be able to regulate the heat to some degree, so we take the coals out. That's our raw damper dough going into the pot. Keep that nice and central. And then we just pop this over to the fire. We just cover our top. After sitting for half an hour with that, is to sit down and grab a cold beer and wait for the damper to do its business. Well, we've probably had our damper on the coals now for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And whilst that's not enough time to cook it, it always pays to uh, just check on its progress and see how things are progressing. And you can see where I've scored it on the top, it's decided to open up a little bit. I'd say that could probably do with just a little bit more heat on top, so I'll gently place that back on, we'll work a few more coals on, have another beer and come back and check it out in another 10 minutes. Okay, well we've had our damper on the coals now for probably about 40 minutes thereabouts. It always varies a bit with the cooking time because it really depends on the density of the wood as to how well it retains the, uh, the heat in the coals. But um, <clears throat> I reckon we'll just have a bit of a captain cook now and see how we're looking. Well Stu, I'm no damper expert but that looks delicious. Well, you know, the acid test to make sure it's cooked is to just give it a quick stab in the guts and it doesn't stick to the knife at all, so that suggests to me that it's cooked right through. All we need to do now is simply lift it out of our camp oven and uh, bring it over to our... Whoop! Gee, Max, I, I like you too. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously want the corner bit of the crust, don't you? <laughs> okay, and there we have it, guys. Our damper. <clears throat> okay guys, I'd like to also mention the fact that it's uh, videographer Steve Dwight's uh, birthday today. He's the man who's been filming this entire segment. So, uh, happy birthday Steve. Pour a bit of this golden syrup on it. Mate, here you go. Happy birthday. Cheers. 
Sí. <risa> <laughs> Good. Good. Well done, Stu. Well done. Happy birthday, mate. <laughs>